Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents with Grover Games. We just arrived in our next town and we just saw a cultist about talking about flooding the region, so we're gonna spend some time exploring this town here quick. It's kind of Where's the Poke Center? I got I got the heels. I will talk to the people for a little bit. Marin Town was found many years ago by sailors from the south. Our little town was the very first one in Torin. I think it's awesome that our great region had such humble beginnings. <clears throat> Excuse me. Besides, because Maritown is near the ocean, we often get travelers from overseas stopping by. That's why we have an international center. It's where the tourists first arrive when visiting Torin. I wonder if that's what the building with the dome on it is. The blue lady gives me the willies. She doesn't seem very friendly. Here at Marin Town, we provide ourselves, pride ourselves on our trading outposts. People from regions and countries all over the world gather here to trade. Here go some pelipers and wiggles. Over the, over, over the world gather here to trade. Pokemon. It's definitely worth a visit if you're new in town. Okay, is this the trade center? Marin Town Museum. Uh, not, not now. Wow, I have a lot of money now. Some lady just stormed in and left her crawdon at the exit over there. Now I can't go swimming. Crawdon looks like it's ready to pick up and toss anyone that tries to pass through here. Is it waiting for someone? So clearly we gotta go through the museum. Come back. We'll come back to that. If you squint past the storm clouds, you can see a group of islands to the southeast. It might sound crazy, but I swear they weren't there a few months ago. I'm tempted to head down there and figure out what's going on, but I don't want to get in over my head. It's better to be safe than sorry. What if it's not Kyo? It makes sense it's Kyogre, but what if it's Lukia? Just because of the whole um, Whirl Island thing. Have you ever heard of the Dragon Runes? I heard it has some myth some connection to the Nova mythology, but I can't really be sure. It's right next to Selene City. I might visit someday. Okay. My daddy's su a super famous Arca... 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 Super famous explorer. I want to grow up just like him. Good job, kid. I'm proud of you. You struggle with English as bad as I do. I heard the auger went to Telnor Town and got attacked by assassins. It's scary. I hope the same thing doesn't happen if he visits Mara Town. Did you know that poison types can never miss with the move Toxic? In my opinion, Will Wish should work the same way with fire types. But hey, nothing about Pokemon. I did. I honestly still did not know that Tox poison Pokemon never miss with Toxic. Jeffrey, one of the local celebrities, run be trade between Mara and other regions. He's been doing it for years. I have so much respect for that guy. I heard he's been having some trouble recently with some thieves, though. His ship, or ship-like thing, is just stocked near the south end of town. Okay, what about you? What do you have to say? If you're interested in fossils or artifacts, our museum is definitely the place for you. There's some okay, so that's where I could get a f my fossils revived. Granted, I don't really have have a desire to do it anymore. You should check out the trading center in our town. I, I've i seen offerings ranging from Delta species to shiny. Okay. Use these on your adventures. I love free stuff. Oh, Pokemon Center was in the center of town the whole time. I feel like an idiot. Especially for, the, for it being in the center of town, for it being the Pokemon Center. Anyways. Somebody here wants to trade a Delta species Pokemon. Isn't that crazy? My hunter, your bigger if? Yes. I don't have a bigger if. I'll trade my Tropius for. Uh, I don't have any of those either. I'll trade my Machoke for a B drill. Okay, that's cool. So a lot of like. Um, would you like to trade Pokemon with me? I don't really want my Slugma anymore. I'll accept any. Po What's with all these people training slug bugs? Me? Oh no, I have nothing to trade. I'm just here for fantastic culture things. You probably have the rarest Pokemon in the building. A Delta Pokemon. It's a coughing, to be specific. If you want to trade it, I'll need something valuable in return. How about a pseudo legendary Pokemon? Or at least or at the very least one of their pre evolutions. So would that just count like as act well? Oh. I don't think I have the pseudo legendary Pokemon. I want to see what that coughing is. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think I have any pseudos. Yeah, I don't. But, where is that? I want to see. Oh, it is a dark fairy type. Quirky. If we want... Heals itself when new moon is something. And what was it a delta of? I for I'll be honest, I don't remember what the delta it was a delta of. But do. Dark fairy, that is a cool typing. Dark fairy Badoo. Interesting. Don't really want another fairy type on the team, but a dark type wouldn't be would be pretty neat. Well, let's go down. Let's go in the library, explore for a bit. Or museum. This particular Pokeball is an ancient as unlike we've ever seen. Car Carbon Dayton placed his creation at the time where Pokemon time where there weren't any Pokeballs at all. We dubbed it the Ancient Ball, and we still haven't quite found its purpose. I ordered these fossils from the gift shop, but they gave me more than I needed. Why don't you have one? I don't need it. Boom fossil. Okay, thank you, even though I don't need one. Why, hello there! I'm the Fossil Maniac. Guess what? I'll be pleased as punch to revive your fossils. What do you say? Uh, not now, but thank you, though. To be able to see fossils and relics so of so long ago, it's abso absolutely stunning. For an artist like me, it's the perfect inspiration. So it's gonna call it. I love exploring museums and learning about the past. I'd love to see the Kubu tops before it became a fossil, or an Aerodactyl. We measure the age of fossils through something called carbon dating. Basically, certain elements will decay over time into others. We can measure the amount of the original element and the element that it decays into, and since we know how long it takes to decay, all it takes is a bit of math. I don't math, good man. Let's go downstairs. Oh, okay. It's incredible that we actually have an object as rare. Oh. Yep, it's Kyogre. It has such a rich history, from Hoenn to Johto. It's hard to believe it ended up here. And it's probably back there. That white-haired woman gives off bad vibes, you know? Her aura's all out of whack, man! I'm sorry, but this blue orb was donated to us by an important sponsor. It's very valuable, so I need to accompany you if you want to take a closer look. Sounds good? Sure. The orb has quite the history. It powered Kyogre back in the days of the beginning of the universe. It was involved in the Aqua Hoenn conflict 50 years ago. Okay, so... That puts some perspective in this game's time frame. 50 years after... Most of the, like, I would say major game, like, the more streamlined, actual Pokemon games. It was uh, used by Archie to revert Kyogre to its primal form. Oh, so even... Okay. It was generously donated to us by someone who wishes to remain... Oh, no way! Oh, hello, miss. I was just in a speech about this ore. Perhaps you... Oh, no. Sorry, I'm only here for the relic. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I can't... Save it. Let's make this easy for both of us. I'm sure you know known of the Vissel cult. You mean the terrorists? Are you trying to intimidate me? Well, yes. Actually, I'm kind of a murderer. It'd be easier for both of us if you just move. You don't even look like one of their members. That's because I'm not. I'm the leader. Thank you! What? What are you planning on doing with it? Well, you tell me. What could the leader of the Vissel cult possibly want with the artifact of Flugia? You, you must want it to summon. Wait, what? The blue orb is Kyogre's artifact, not Lugia's. Ah, here it is. A secret compartment. Compartment. Clever. It's hard to believe that the title bell was the CD to find. The title bell? So it was freaking Lugia. Please, why would I want some cheap plastic ball when so Lugia's bell is rested underneath it? But that's the blue orb, the legendary artifact of Kyogre. You're absolutely right, but that's not the orb. A fake? How do you know? How did you know the bell was there? The best place to hide something is in plain sight. Nobody would think to look for the bell next to a fake orb. And well, this cheap plastic bell here, I donated it. Why? Good thing this is on speed up, because I feel like that would have taken forever. Well, as the leader of Bissell Cult, everyone assumes I'm after Kyogre. Actually, people don't want me getting my hands on the blue orb. Having a copy that's in a guarded museum, well, what better way to make everyone think I don't already have it? 
I don't think I haven't noticed you there, Gigi. You're the one Mucho that Mucho's? You want to stop me? Bring it. I'll be waiting. To the south of Marin lies the current location of the World Islands. When you're ready to lose, just stop by. She knew you knew your name. Just who exactly are you? You need to report this incident to my superiors. Oh man, I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Thank you for visiting. Goodbye. Hey, there's the Pika taxi. I was kind of wondering where that was. Oh, 45 tentacruel. Do, do, do. It's in this cave. Wait. Ar Archaeology site, it said? Yep. Disappeared to, for me to read too fast. Fuh -fuh. Whew, you're just a kid. Look, you can't sneak up on me while I'm scheming back here. Huh? Who am I? Alright, I'll tell you. But you gotta keep swear to me. You won't tell anyone else I'm back here in exchange. Capiche? There's no need for me to tell you my name, and there's no need for me to tell you yours either. All you need to know is that I happened to find this cave a while ago, and I have been working on clearing out as much as, as I can. I've been selling most of my finds to the museum outside for a nice profit. Alright, that's enough to satisfy your curiosity. Then how about let me get back to... Actually, wait a minute. Are you a trainer? I figured you were, by the way, your dress and your companion following in behind you. Listen, I've gotten quite a number of fossils while I've been digging in here, but I still have yet to find a fossil for one Pokemon in particular. Aerodactyl. If I could just get my hands on that last artifact, I could off offer to complete the museum's fossil display for a significant amount of money. If you want to help me, I can make it worth your while. Fossils aren't the only thing I've found down here. I'd be willing to part with some of the rarest items of my collection. Like, say a Megastone, perhaps? Ooh, I am interested. So if you happen to come across something that holds the remains of an Aerodactyl, come back and pay me a visit so we can complete the trade. So, okay. I'll have to try to remember that. Mm. I might start thinking about using a repel here. What do you have to say? Oh, hi there! You look like a strapping young trainer. Do you think you'd help me out with a little something? I could use the help of a mighty Pokemon user like yourself. Sure. Ah, you see? You see, I'm a sailor around these parts, and I organize trade between Torin and places like Kanto and Aloha. But the islands I've been using for storing goods have been ransacked by thieves and pirates. Do you think you could help me clear it out? I pay you. Of course. Yes. Let's go make some money, boys. The trade outpost. Kind of happy, cheery music for being a ransacked island. Are there any Pokemon here? Bossman said I was a pirate of the month. I gotta protect my title. Burglar West. I wonder if he knew I killed his brother East. Wait, or was it? What was the guy's name? I don't remember anymore. Doesn't matter. Magneton. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work out too well for her. Right, let's let's go into Bears. He's got Amulet coin. Let's get some extra cash off this guy. Oh, some extra cash is always nice. Oh yeah, sturdy. Right, right. Wonder when he'll he'll learn Iron Head. Oh, my, what's this rock slide it? Oh. I was hoping he would kill it in one hit. Why do they keep trying to set up Nasty Plot on those two mouses? Or mice. See, English is not good for me. Uh... Oh. Trainers. Oh, he's turned into waifu. Hey, what are you doing? We're robbing this place fair and square. Apom, okay. Well, that's just Thunderbolt, yeah. Aren't some she's starting to get pretty good attack. I wish she had a little bit more speed right now though. Oh. 
I'm going to take that TM. That's part of my payment. Ooh, interesting. Weavile. I was going to say, it's probably going to outspeed me. Another... Not one, but two Weaviles. Okay. Uh, let's go on to Kipper. I don't think... I think Kipper can take the hits pretty solid. Let's go to Rock Slide. Oh yeah, Kipper's got good bulk. Solar Beam. Okay, that's... Pretty decent. Probably won't use it, to be honest with you, but it's nice to have, I guess. I'll have to stockpile on potions when I'm back in town again. There's a timer ball back here. Let's get that. Whoa! I'm just out here to steal some stuff. I honestly, I'm honestly feeling so attacked right now. You're the one who's challenging me, bud. Uh, yeah, we're not going to keep you on. We're going to go to Kipper. It's because... He'll resist some of his moves. I was gonna go to the bears, but I'm afraid he's gonna know a ground move. Keep hitting with K-Chop. The Kipper Chop. And there goes Ninjask. Please don't hurt me. Got a timer ball now. Oh wow, kid. I guess I should just turn myself in. Not. Right, you. Okay. And we'll frost breath. Frost breath? Maybe? Blah. I should use that ability capsule on someone. I feel like it might be handy. But I don't know who I should use. Actually. I kind of got an idea who I want to use it on, but if I do that... Because I kind of want to use a Delta Scyther, not going to lie. But I already got an Ice type on a team. Okay, fine, there's nothing here. Huh. That's right, I'm the boss man here. Tell me, kid, do you really think you stand a chance? I've been looting and plundering since you were just a wee baby. Wee babe. Bring it on, we'll never clear out of the trade outposts. Boss mine, Derek. Haxorus. Well, that's unfortunate. Bye, Haxorus. Couldn't stand up to the power of the waifu. Bye, Derek. Oh, you scallywag. What? What? How? You can't beat me. The boss said I have to protect him so nobody finds out. Shoot, I just spilled the beans, didn't I? The real boss didn't want anyone finding out. Fine, go ahead and face the boss. If you can... If he can lead our little group from behind the scenes as a Pokemon, he can take you out. Wait. It's a Pokemon? <laughs> it's a Delta Axew! That is... That is awesome! Delta axe you. Okay. Definitely catching that. So it's like a little shark. No name dummy. It takes a lot large bites out of docked boats, forcing local fishermen to invest in boats made of extremely strong metal. A tiger shark Pokemon. Well. We got... Um... <laughs> Do I really want to name it Axon? Yeah, we got Axum and Axon. Oh, that's not how I want to do it. Just Axon. And everyone's cleared out, and we got buttload of cash. Freaking waifu, waifu is move on up in the world. Wonder what type it is. 
it, obviously it's water. I wonder if it's got a secondary type to it. Wow, you you found what was attracting all those thieves and pirates to me, Dan Dan? A Pokemon, a Delta Pokemon. Shiver me timbers, I would have never guessed. Listen, I owe you one. Let me pay you for your troubles. Oh, only only 3,000? I got paid by more by freaking finding books for people than that. Okay, so this goes to World Islands. I feel gypped. I run a small garden out in the ocean. It's just a hobby, but I love doing it. The sea air is great for the lungs and the plants are well hydrated. Uh, let's head back. Wait, was that another cave there? Oh, right, that's... There we go. I was like, I can't, can't really remember how to get it back up top because I want to look at that axe. That, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Delta Axe. Axe you real quick. Got Strong Draw. Got a boost to it. Oh, wow, it's... 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 IVs are bad. Poison Fang, Ice Fang, and Crunch. That's kind of a cool move set. Strong Draw, increase. Yep. Well, I think Axon's just gonna stay in the box for now. I'm ha I'm very happy with Kipper, so and while we're here, we're gonna spend a bunch of money on potions. Let's get ah, thirty. It should be fine. My revisor, we got five. Let's get five more. Doing my best to avoid anyone fainting. How many full heals we got? Uh, let's get six. Down 60 to 60 grand, but you know what? We're we're doing all right now for money. Oh, Delta X X U. That that's kind of a cool type. But it's the sad part is it's already got a ten times better move set than my Haxorus I have. Well, let's head towards the World Islands. That's a Quagsire! Oh, of course you wouldn't want to fight. Bye, buddy. <laughs> and he's like, see ya! I don't want to screw with Quagsire. He would screw- he would beat me, Kingdom Come. So there must have been something flooded over here. Core fish? I don't really want a core fish. More. So that's another thing I, I like about this game. They got a lot of like random little static encounter Pokemon they've been putting in place. A Whalmer. Big goofy bastard. I wonder... World Islands, okay. So we made it to the World Islands, finally. Look! Another escape rope! I'm still upset by the fact I couldn't use it earlier. Oh, boy. Oh, no. This is... No, not... Not, not like this. Let's see how far out we can- okay. This is as far out as we can go. I was just curious if there were any more islands. So, I wonder if it's gonna be like a cave system like the- Yeah, I can't dive. If it's gonna have a cave system kinda like the freaking gold and silver and crystal world islands, I hope not. Okay. That's new. No way, a golem in here? A golem? 
That's actually kind of cool to see, like, a third stage evolution Pokemon. In the wild. I... That... This game has... I'll give this game a lot more credit now, just because of having third stage evolutions. I want to get that Ultra Ball before I fight that cultus. Fine. Waifu is going to have a heyday here with these cultists. Celio. Audrey is here using the title bell to summon a Lugia. There's nothing you can do to stop us. Basculin. And will this Thunderbolt you? That's new. Oh, wait, it turns into a dragon type. I forgot. It's poison dragon, not. You know what? Let's. What's the chance it's gonna use a poison move? Making the predictions. Hell yeah. Well, that's this earthquake. You're. You into the ground. Correction. You can't stop her. <laughs> Uh, I think I got a few antidotes yet. Yes, I do. Get rid of waifu's poisoning. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll keep kind of rounding everyone out. Halfway decent. Up, oh, I almost jumped. I think I got to. Yeah, I think I had to. I think this cave is going to... Irked me greatly. Hey, Sharpedo! I do actually wanna... I do wanna fight all these trainers. Extra money and experience, especially since I have a feeling that... We're gonna so slowly start getting out-leveled again. We're the strongest cult in Torin, I'm gonna show you why. One tail? Uh, let's Earthquake ya. I was like, doesn't it get speed too? No, it just gets defense. For some reason, I thought Coil got, gave it a Gorbice now. Okay. Interesting. Oh, gosh. Are they just going to baton pass back? Well, that works in my favor, actually. As long as I got one of them to faint. That Gorbice actually hurt quite a bit with that setup. Okay, good. I think I'm good on hyper potions for a while. <laughs> okay, that was kind of an interesting little creek there to surf on. Like I said, my main goal is I, I want to beat all these trainers to get as much experience as I can get. Uh, we're going to just do another earthquake. Uh, K chop! Doodle ch Do the K chop! And now the heal should go off, right? No, it did not. Okay. Let's just switch into waifu. I wonder why Wish didn't go off yet. Unless I missed. Maybe I just missed the text for it. So we're going to have to kind of keep bears in the back. Everyone else is going to be fine for the most part. Is this just outside? Yep, it is. Okay. Well, you know what? This is where we're going to end the episode today. Um, we'll get back to exploring that cave and seeing what they're going to do with Lugia. If you I'd like to thank everyone for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date the latest Pokemon and search and videos. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.